Gezi Park appeared abandoned on Monday after the remains of protesters' tents were cleared away. Only a police presence served as a reminder of the violent scenes of the past few weeks. Demonstrators say the removal of their camp doesn't change anything. Despite the police, they vow their protests will continue. Gezi Park has become an image, a symbol for the people, the public. It represents freedom, it represents resistance. So shutting this place down doesn't mean anything. The people are resisting. The government is maintaining a hard line against demonstrators. On Sunday, Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan again called the protesters terrorists. On Monday, his deputy said the army would be called in if necessary. But hundreds have continued to take to the streets, here in Istanbul and elsewhere. Hundreds of union members started the week by walking off the job in solidarity with the protesters of Gezi Park. The government warned anyone taking part in rallies would face the consequences. We won't allow these kinds of activities and behaviours because they're not covered by the law. Our police will carry out their duties. The government's hard line has met with international criticism. German Chancellor Angela Merkel has voiced unease about Ankara's crackdown. My view is that what's happening in Turkey right now doesn't fit our ideas about freedom of protest, about freedom of expression. The makeshift camps may have been removed from Taksim Square and Gezi Park, but in Turkey, simmering tensions still remain.